and welcome back to Wildwood Cottage and welcome back to Wales. A bit wet out there today, it's a bit grim. Um, so I don't think I'll be outside much in the garden. I'm just looking that way because I'm looking out the window. I'll just show you. Can you see the rain? There you go, can you see the rain? Yeah, and then that way. There you go, I'll tune in for you. There you go, there's my azalea looking really, really pretty. But as you can see, the garden's very wet. We've had a lot of rain the last 24 hours. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you the magnolia while you're there. Starting to fade now. Uh, the, the petals are falling off like snow. And uh, yeah, the green leaves are coming back. So summer's on the way. Right, so yeah, summer's on the way. And uh, I thought that I would do a couple of house jobs while it's raining because I do want to get outside today. I really want to get that patch done where the polytunnel's going because it arrived on Saturday. It's all in the garage, all ready to uh, to go. It seemed to be a lot of wood, but that's because it's the door frames and the door. Um, the pole, poles don't look that thick at all. I just hope they're up to the winds here. Um, and I've already got the plastic. I bought that a couple of years ago. So that's waiting in the wings in the garage, all ready to go. So I'm waiting for the weather to dry up because the garden's soaking. I can't get out onto the grass. Um, it's very slippy and I don't want to slip and injure my back. Um, so I've got to be patient and wait for it to dry up a bit. So I thought I'd do a couple of house jobs. So I thought that I'd just show you what I'm up to. I've been out in the garden and I've been picking that sticky weed. That stuff you used to throw on each other when you were little. I've been out picking that because I like to make that into um, a water, like a herb water in the summer. So I'm going to do that in the kitchen. So I'll show you that. I've also got this book here, Fermentation. Um, it was one I found in the library. Um, excuse the noise in the background. The chickens are really going bonkers today. Yeah, it's one I found in the, in the library. And I know you all like your frugal living tips. And I was thinking maybe I could do a few recipes out of this book. I highly recommend it. It was about £10, I think, on the internet when I bought it about a month ago. It's by a lady called Asa Simonson. And uh, it's sauerkraut, kimchi, brine, pickles, kefir, kombucha, vegan dairy, and a lot more. That's, oh, we've got all weird. And it says, and a lot more. So I have made a couple of recipes out of it. I made some sauerkraut the other week, and that turned out really, really nice. I've done a red cabbage one. And um, I'm hoping today to make a beetroot and red cab cabbage kimchi, because I made one of them last week, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The beetroot goes really nice and soft, really sweet. And it was beetroot that was going off. It had all gone all uh, wrinkly, you know, and it goes to that stage and, mm, should I put it in the compost heap? Well, I didn't. I peeled it, done it raw, chopped it all up um, on the, um, oh, what you call it? Cheese grater. That's the word I'm looking for. I did it on the cheese grater, chopped the cabbage up, um, put the salt with it, put it in the bowl, left it to soak for 30 minutes, and then that brings all the juices out the cabbage and out the beetroot. Then you pop it into a jar, leave it for a week, give it a taste, leave it another week if it's not ready, leave it about three weeks, put it in jars, put it in storage and it'll keep through the winter. So that is a great probiotic. Um, fermentation is a great way of boosting your immune system, boosting your gut's health um, and general good for all, for all round health. You don't want to have too much of it in one go, you just want to have a spoonful with your salad or with your casserole or with your meat on a Sunday. And it's just a nice healthy addition. Instead of pickles, it's like a nice alternative to a pickle. So there's a few recipes in here that I want to try. I want to try some ginger beer for the summer um, because that is basically just sugar, ginger and water. I want to do some lemon water. Um, you can do fermented garlic, so you can use that in your cooking. Um, I fermented some garlic through the winter and the chickens have got, oh, they've got a really bad infestation of red mice. I've no idea um, why, but I was putting bubble wrap over the top of their hutch um, in the winter to keep them warm because we had a lot of frost. And uh, I think I've made them have a red mite infestation because they've had somewhere warm and cosy to, to settle down. So yeah, I've done that and I've ended up having to take their hutch apart. 
and yeah they've got nowhere to sleep they're going bonkers outside because the, their nesting routine's been mixed up because they haven't got their house so yeah i'll just open the window and let you hear how loud they are Can you hear them? They've been like that all morning. At the moment, they've got a plastic box to nest in. A nesting box that they had on their hutch that I managed to get washed out last night. And um, a plastic storage box that turned up with bits of wood over the top. So yeah, I've got to sort that. I'll do that in another video for you because I'm going to make them a new hutch out of a storage box. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that was an aside. But uh, yeah, I've decided to have a go while it's raining of making a red cabbage um, sauerkraut and a red cabbage kimchi with beetroot. So I'll show you me doing that and we'll, I'll have that in a separate recipe for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to be in the greenhouse and I'm going to be potting on my tomatoes and my cucumbers. So we'll go in the, garage, in the um, greenhouse and do that this morning. Um, and generally I think I'm going to be pottering. I've got some exciting plants that are freebies to show you as well um, in the garden so we'll go outside and do that in a minute and uh, yeah we're just generally going to have a pottering day today I think um, because I can't really get out and do much. It is raining again, typically it's raining again and uh, I don't think I'm going to get much done so yeah so I'm going to turn the camera off, I'm going to get my drink I've got in my nice new mug, I have um, apple cider vinegar, ginger and a bit of honey. And it's lovely, really, really tasty and refreshing. Ginger incidentally is good for inflammation, so if you've got a bit of asthma, like I have at the moment, or um, you've got a bit of inflammation <coughs> in your gut, it's good for that. So I'm having a bit of that today. So I'm just going to finish my cup of tea for my breakfast. And then I think I'll take you outside in the greenhouse. And we'll go and do some plants. And uh, I'll show you the exciting plants that have come up in my garden. So see you outside in a minute. Right, so before I go out in the garden, I'm going to make my sticky weed tonic. So I just thought for any of you who are new here, I'd show you what I'm doing. So this is sticky weed, it's the one that has the little seeds on it, um, you stick it to your clothes, you used to throw it at each other as kids, so all I do is I just take a handful like this, wrap it up, pop it in, make sure it's got no soil on it, you don't want soil on it, and then I've got a bit of ginger here, I've cut it in half, taken a slice, about that thick, cut it in half, pop it in the jar. And then I've got some honey, it's raw honey, um, it's Polish raw honey, I got it from Lidl and it was £4 a jar I think, it's a multi-flower honey, so I'm going to take a spoon of that, just about that much, pop that in there, kettle of water, add that in there. Not quite enough to fill the jar, but never mind. Give it a stir to mix the honey in and the ginger. The warm water will release all the uh, stuff, good stuff that's in the um, cleavers. And I'll leave that to soak, and then I'll add a bit of cold water when it cools, when the water's gone cold just to top the jar up and then I'll leave that in the jar for 12 to 24 hours and then uh, I'll pop it in the fridge and drink that through the week so I'll have a nice little ginger, I'll have a bit of a ginger twist to it um, and a bit of honey as well so it'll be nice and antibacterial and help with inflammation in the gut and in the body so yeah so that's what I've done with that got a lid to pop on the top, these are killing the jars these are 1970s Kilner jars, I think they're called Red Haven. So I won't put the lid on tight because it's still hot in there. But that'll just keep the heat in and get all those things mixed in together. So that's that. This was a great size jar of honey. Um, 900 grams. 
for £5. So I was really pleased with that. So I'll try and get another one. Um, I do have a few others. I've got one here that's been here fermenting for a few days. And this is nettle. And then I've got another one here which has been fermenting for a few days as well and that's dandelion flowers so they're ready to drink now, I'm going to pop them in the fridge uh, this is my kimchi, uh, sorry, kraut that I made with beetroot and cabbage so this is my uh, beetroot and red cabbage kimchi that I was telling you about, well it's actually a kraut but as you can see there's a lovely thick juice, lovely thick juice on the top if I take it out, look how lovely that is. It's absolutely beautiful. I've never tasted it before and it tastes gorgeous. Mmm. You can really taste the beetroot in that. It's lovely. And if you have difficulty digesting beetroot like I do, this is a really good way to get your beetroot and get your cabbage because it tastes like I put slightly too much salt in that but it's it's good for your gut and it doesn't react with your gut like it does if you just get raw beetroot without it being fermented but because it's been fermented and it's got all this good stuff going on on it already it's already started the digestion process as it is so if you struggle with your gut it's a great way of being able to get some raw food in your diet um, and it's a great addition to your diet as well. So I'm going to be making some more of this. And when I do, I'll turn the camera on and I'll video it for you. But this is done now. This needs bottling up into smaller jars. And then I'll pop it in storage in the garage. And uh, it'll keep for a few months in the garage. So it's a really good way of doing long-term food storage without doing all our bottling of hot water and... Um, vinegars and sugars and yeah it's just a really good way of preserving food so this is what I'm hoping to be doing with my food from the garden so just thought I'd show you that so when I put the camera back on we'll go outside see you in a minute right so just off to the greenhouse to go and do my tomatoes and my cucumbers and I thought I'd show you my potatoes that I did in bags do you remember back in March I put some early potatoes in some bags in leaves and compost well, I've started coming through. I'll just show you. Just turn you around. So there's one of them. This is my little pink can I did with my flower in. It's all looking very pretty. Look at these potatoes. They need earthing up a bit now. They need something else in them now. So when I cut the grass, I'll put some grass clippings in. But there's that one. There's that one in the green bag there. And then over here, we've got this one. It's just got lots in as well. So they're doing really well. Really pleased. Um, I still haven't finished my raised beds, but we won't go into that now. I'll do another garden tour soon. Oh, and there's this one here as well. Look how good this one's doing. So yeah, I'm hoping to get the grass cut this week. So when I do, I'll pop the grass clippings in there and we'll earth them up again. So, ooh, look at this. Just as an aside, I've got plums. Can you see them? You see my tiny plums? Look at that. First year as well, look. Wow, you got you come up trumps. Look at all them. Amazing. That's one of them. Oh look, there's loads here as well, look. I had a feeling I was going to get them because it was covered in blossom. Going to be loads of plums on there. I have to keep an eye on them with the birds. Right, let's go off to the greenhouse and uh, we'll go and do some tomatoes and some cucumbers. Do you want to see my blossom on my apple tree? There you go, look. Can you see all that beautiful blossom? This is a Braeburn apple. Um, look at this blossom bl plume here. Isn't it lovely? And all along there as well, look at that. So this is very pretty and I've got flowers on my sage as well and my lilac flower is just finishing look how beautiful that is lovely right didn't intend on showing you that so let's take a walk down to the greenhouse 
and uh, we'll go and do the tomatoes and the cucumbers. So this is my little surprise bed at the moment. I've got loads of artichokes coming back and I don't know whether I want to leave them there. And I've got some potatoes as well. So I think I might leave them. Because now I've got the other bed and the polytunnel. It's not really necessary for me to move this lot, so I might leave it. But what I was doing, when I was looking in here the other day, I found these. Now these are Russian kale. Now. This plant here, I'll just zoom in for you. This, these plants here are off a plant that I brought from my allotment 10 years ago. I just brought one and I thought I'll just take a, a seedling and see if I can get them to regrow. Well, they have, and I've got about 20 of them. I just left it last year. This is the parent plant. Where is it? This one here is the parent plant and it's still attached to the plant just about but it's just gone to seed again and you can see those lovely yellow flowers now I'm going to leave that and let the wildlife have the flowers um, but yeah it's still attached to the parent plant so this is what it looks like and this is what its leaf will be now I've got loads and loads of seedlings in here so there's some there there's a little patch of them here just here, see? Another one there, another one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig them up today. Put them in some compost in the greenhouse and uh, get them growing. And the more I look, the more I can see there's a little patch of them there as well, look. Just there. So I'm going to dig them up and I'm going to pop them in the uh, greenhouse in some soil. And then once I'm organised, I'm going to put them back in. So this needs weeding a little bit um, to give the artichokes a chance to grow and the potatoes. So I think I'm going to leave them in because they're doing really well. They're growing nicely. Can't see any more. There's lots of strawberries growing so I need to get all these strawberry plants out and so move them and get this weeded. Um, and then this is the potatoes that I've replanted here which I planted last September oh someone's been having a munch look cheeky little blighter someone's been munching so they need to go back in but uh, yeah the more I look here as well the more potatoes I can see so I'm gonna leave them as well but this lot needs weeding and these are wild raspberries so I'm gonna leave them and I'm gonna get the raspberries and then take them out in the autumn, get rid of them in the autumn. Need to rescue me strawberries, but uh, they're doing really well now we've had the rain. So these are outside of the bed, so these need moving. Um, and I've rebuilt the fruit cage as well, which is a lot better. And all the current flowers and things are starting to come up now. I don't know whether you can see them in there. This is a black currant, so I'm going to have lots of fruit. And I've also got some more wild raspberries here as well. So that's what's happening in the garden at the moment. These are all my plants waiting to go in when the weather stops being wet, when it stops raining. One of the lupins, I did divide up the red one and I got three. So I, they were two for three pound, the plants. And I got three plants out of one plant. So that was really good value for money. Um, I'm going to divide up my oregano and put that in different places around the garden. These are all my cuttings that I did earlier in the year. And that pink phlox there, I divided and I got four plants out of that as well. So, yeah. Oh, and this one here as well. I don't know what this is, I can't remember. Lovely pink flower. I got two plants out of one plant as well. So for three pounds, I got one, two, three, I got five plants out of me three pounds. So that's all right, isn't it? So, yeah, oh, and this one as well, my bleeding heart, this one, I uh, divided that and I got three plants out of that as well. So I'm very pleased with that. Oh, look at me lily, me tulips, look at that. <laughs> Looks like a lily. Take the heads off them. This one's finished. 
been very pretty the tulips. Look at this one. They're gorgeous. Right, so let's go in the greenhouse then and I'll show you what's going on in there. More plants here waiting to go in when it stops raining. I've got my sweet peas to go in, yes? So, yeah, anyway. In here, I've been a busy bee. This is my spinach, my bright light spinach, which I did ooh, about a month and a half ago now, I think, about six weeks ago. It's doing really well. Some nice strong leaves on it. It's been out in the rain, so it's had a good dose of water. These are my beetroot. They need to go out in the rain, so I'm going to put them out in a minute. This is my uh, butternut squash plants that I got from Little, and they were two plants and they were £1.99 in a pot, two plants in a pot, and that's those if you see them. Um, oh, someone's taken my, uh, oh, someone's been in and nibbled on me, uh, sunflowers. These were my sunflowers, but somebody's been in, look, he's knocked the top off, little swine. So yeah, these are my sunflowers, planted them on, and here as well, someone's taken the top off this one, had a lovely new shoot on there. So they need to go out in the rain as well and get a good dose of rain. Um, these need planting on today because I've got some nice new compost so I'm going to pot these on. These are pumpkins, um, old boar and then I've got my cucumbers so they need potting on as well into deeper compost. Um, I'm going to do that today. And down here my carrots have finally started coming through. These radish desperately need planting but yeah my carrots have started coming through. And I found a load of leeks as well. Now, where did I put them? Not in that one. Not in there. I can't remember. Oh, they might be in this one. So I'm going to do that one today. Need to tidy up again. It's the right tip. There they are. What's going on in this one? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, these are my kale. These are red curly kale and I've got a blue kale here as well. Um, I've got courgettes, these are yellow ones, these need planting on into deeper pots. These are the seeds that I did just over a week ago, they're doing really well. They've got the true leaves on them now, see that? So they're doing really well. I've got these tomatoes that need planting on into deeper pots. They are old seeds, I was surprised they grew. I've got six of those, can't pronounce the name. Garten Pearl, something like that. Don't know. These cucumbers I planted again at the same time as those courgettes, and they are doing really, really well. They've only been in about 10 days, so I'm going to have plenty of cucumbers. Um, I found these as well, which I planted and forgot. These are chili peppers. Um, and they are chilli peppers, so they've done okay. Um, now I did have a sweet bell pepper, which is that one, but that to me looks like a tomato, so I'm not sure. But uh, it's supposed to be a sweet bell pepper, so we'll see. And this is my amaranth, this is what's left of that. It all went and dried out in the sun, so... Yeah, so we've got plenty going on. Down here is my tomatoes. I am, I've transplanted them all. These are all um, cherry tomatoes, so they're doing really well. Someone's been in and had a munch on that as well, so that's one tomato less. Pain in the bum. But they need a good drink, so I'm going to pop them out and pop them on the bench outside the greenhouse. But they've put on a load of new growth since I potted them. I sat in the, in the garden the other day with the wheelbarrow and the compost and just transplanted them on so so I think that's it in the greenhouse I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in two videos for you because it's gonna otherwise it's gonna be a really long video and it's gonna take me ages to upload it because I'm on really slow dinosaur broadband and uh, yeah it take me three hours four hours just to upload uh, 20 minutes so I think I'm gonna stop this video there and then I'll do another video for you and I'll put that up tomorrow and uh, I'll do the transplanting the tomatoes and cucumbers and things and we'll go and get those seeds out of the garden and we'll do them as well. So I'll see you tomorrow but enjoy the rest of your day. I'm hoping to get back out in the garden. If I do 
I'll switch the camera on and I'll show you me doing the fence posts as well. So we'll do that together and uh, we'll get ready for the poly tunnel. I'm just hoping the weather's going to dry up. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to tidy up and then I will see you tomorrow. So if you have enjoyed my video, please do like and subscribe. Please do hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when I open new, new videos. And I will see you in the next video. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.